Hi viewers, I am Dr. Shriban. Today I am going to share a good experience which I had a discussion with one of my friends. One of my friends came to me and he was complaining that his wife is having severe hair loss. So I am going to share the information which I gave to my friend to you right now with you. For this, I am going to divide this hair loss into two categories. First, I will be explaining you what are the causes of hair loss. Then, I will explain you how we are going to reduce hair loss. So that it may be helpful for you in treating yourself. If you want to understand this video, you will have to hear till the last. Then only you will be understanding some good information. So the first and most important cause is stress. As long as you carry stress with you, your hair loss will be very high. People don't take care of stress, but they have time to spend money for shampoos and for tablets. Without keeping your stress under control, your hair loss is not going to come down. So first thing. Second, we have seen so many patients, especially females, suffering from thyroid problems. They don't take thyroid tablets correctly, but they spend money for shampoos, hair dyes and tablets. So what is the use? No use at all. And there are some foods which you um, should not take in a thyroid, uh, for a thyroid uh, patient. So you have to avoid those foods also. If you are not avoiding those foods and taking only thyroid tablets for so many times, even your thyroid is not going to come down. So you will be having continuous hair loss. And I have explained what are the foods which you have to avoid for a thyroid patient in another video. You can just have uh, you just have a look at that video if you have time. The another important cause is hormone problems. There are so many females suffering from hormone problems, and those females um, definitely have to um, take uh, a medical treatment from a gynecologist. Otherwise, unless the hormone level problems is going to settle, the hair loss is not going to come down. Fourth important cause. It's obesity, there is overweight. You have seen so many overweight females or males and they have so many hormone problems with them. Uh, unless you bring their uh, your body weight to a, a normal level, the hormone problems are not going to come down and your hair loss is also not going to come down. Without reducing your body weight, there is no point in applying any shampoos or any hair dyes or any tablets. Your hair loss is not going to come down. So you have to take care of your body weight and you have to take the proper balanced diet. What is a balanced diet to reduce your body weight? Your diet should have a good amount of protein, fat, vitamin, minerals and it should be a low carbohydrate diet. So um, I have given weight loss tips uh, in my another video you can just go through. right? And anemia, anemia is one of the another cause of hair loss. What do you mean by anemia? Anemia means it is low level of iron content in your body low level of iron content in the body. So when you have, when you suspect uh, iron as a deficient factor for your hair loss, you can supplement this with some iron tablets with the consultation of your doctor or you can uh, take which are foods which are rich in iron, okay, uh, some kirei, uh, meat, egg, fish, these are the foods which are uh, bone soup, these are foods which are rich in iron. So unless you correct your uh, iron deficiency, your hair loss will not come down just by applying any shampoos. Next the foremost important is self-medication. People take tablets on their own without consultation of the doctor. They go to the medical store and eat or some tablets for some distress or some illness. There are so many tablets uh, which create so many side effects that itself leads to hair loss. Next uh, important thing is having dandruff. For dandruff people apply shampoos weekly once they are changing shampoos. Weekly once. They are keep on changing shampoos. Don't forget, shampoos are rich in chemicals. You can use shampoo once in a month, that's enough. That's once in a month enough. But you have to keep your hair clean by you can use homemade preparations. See Hekai in Tamil they say, see Hekai. These things you can apply uh, for your hair hygiene. Okay. Next, another important uh, one of the main cause for hair loss is. Vitamin C deficiency. Vitamin C. You can take even vitamin C tablets 
or you can take foods rich in vitamin C like uh, gooseberry, lime juice and whatever it may be. Uh, why vitamin C is very important for uh, hair loss is uh, vitamin C helps in the synthesis of a good substance called skin collagen. So vitamin C supplementation either in the form of food or tablets uh, is definitely will definitely help in your hair loss treatment. Next is vitamin A. Vitamin A is a very important factor. If your if your uh, vitamin A content in your body is low, it will be definitely leading to so much of hair loss. And you can get vitamin A especially in liver. So weekly once or twice you can have some uh, liver that will definitely help in preventing your hair loss. Next, uh, one more thing is biotin deficiency. There is a vitamin called biotin. Uh, so we have seen so many persons eating biotin tablets uh, with consultation of doctor. Uh, so you can have vitamin tablets also and uh, it's better to have find out uh, a natural source of vitamin so uh, of this uh, biotin vitamin biotin is usually present in all non vegetarians you can fish egg meat and so on okay so this biotin is very important for the elasticity of your hair elasticity of the hair so biotin is very important nutrient especially to prevent hair loss and one more thing is which we cannot do much is aging as we as we grow older you know definitely there will be hair loss and you don't have to worry about that much next is genetic genetic is a you know it runs in families they have some uh, some females have male type of baldness that you don't have to worry much and that cannot be uh, cured much next is zinc deficiency zinc is a dye in um, zinc deficiency is also one of the main cause of um, hair loss so either you can take zinc tablets or uh, you can uh, supplement zinc in the form of a good diet. It's, uh, zinc is, uh, in, is found in good quantities in milk uh, and all non vegetarian especially beef and mutton. Okay, you can have that. Another important vitamin deficiency which causes hair loss is vitamin D. Vitamin D uh, is very helpful in the formation of new hair follicles. It's very important in the formation of new hair follicles. That's very important. And vitamin D from where you can get free? Vitamin D is available free of cost in the sunlight. So daily you can have some 15 to 20 minutes of sun bath, you get vitamin D regularly. Vitamin D has so many other advantages for bone and so many things are there. Next, uh, next uh, vitamin E deficiency can also lead to hair loss. So either you can take vitamin E tablets or you can find a good source of vitamin E in the form of diet that is uh, you know almond a l m o n d almond badam they say in tamil so vitamin e it is an antioxidant property also it's generally good for your health so you, once you can supplement vitamin e in the form of diet uh, that is almond a l m o n d so these are the things and uh, um, uh, some people have uh, hair loss mainly because of some scalp infections they have some fungal or ringworm infections this has to be treated with consultation of uh, a dermatologist either with uh, some antifungal shampoos or uh, antifungal tablets okay next is uh, one rare cause of uh, hair loss is autoimmune diseases you need not know much about that next is chemotherapy what do you mean by chemotherapy some cancer some cancer patients they will be having uh, intravenous uh, medications intravenous injections uh, for cancer per se and these patients under chemotherapy will have some patchy hair loss and that cannot be uh, done much in that okay and uh, there are some techniques uh, people are trying um, uh, there's a medicine called minoxidil uh, minoxidil application over the scalp and uh, that is not of much use uh, i have told you so many reasons for hair loss hair loss once you correct all the above reasons which i have told you every i think most of your